Now, Sister Carol, uh, you offer such a myriad of uh, services, and it says Night Consulting offers these things, such as business coaching and startup services, of course, business plan writing, community-based program design, board development, research for data, information and statistics, networking and forming collaborations, nonprofit establishment and management, writing grant proposals and marketing tools. And how many times have people told me, Ms. Sharp, I need to get my uh, business plan together. Oh, I like to know how to write grants and such and such. Yes. Boy, you do it all, lady. It wasn't <laughs> intentional. <laughs> uh, basically, um, it, certain things were added as the clients needed, and God that told me whatever it takes for certain things to get started, I had to help, I had to put my hand in there. Mm-hmm. So I, while I started off um, with doing one thing, mm-hmm. I ended up doing a lot more than I anticipated. Mm-hmm. But, you know, that's the way the vision is. Sometimes, you know, they say the labor is a few, and it's true. Amen. Amen. So awesome. And uh, several, uh, a number of folks, uh, and of course you don't include the, the names, you know, for confidentiality, have received uh, successful, uh, you know, grants, uh, these uh, 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 being awarded. And it's so awesome, such as the amounts of uh you know, as little as fifteen hundred dollars, as I'm looking on your list, as much as over one hundred thousand dollars for programs such as uh, general operating support, or for an after-school po- program, uh, emergency food pantry, uh, summer program. Uh, this is awesome. This is totally awesome. Curriculum programs, and on and on and on. Well, the point of our ministries is that we are supposed to connect with people. We need people in order to have a form of success. There it is. We need to connect. Yes, you have to. <laughs> That's what we're here for. We're mm-hmm. not here to be a, a lone ranger. Mm-hmm. We're here to connect. We're here to help people. There are people waiting for you to open up a food bank. There are people waiting for you to open up a, a cleaners or a child care center. Uh-huh. Those people are waiting. There is something that each person has to deposit on earth before they leave here yes and that's it's it's essential amen you are ministering to me right now my sister amen and so many others listening and uh sister carol i'm looking down the list of testimonials as one lady mentioned said that you even told her about classes at the local community college there in fayetteville about starting a business and i work for a community college that's the other part of my life as a recruiter for basic skills ged and then i, I try to disseminate information as needed about the other parts of our campus con- including sp- small business center and our curriculum classes and whatnot so you know we got this information yes and we're holding it yeah somebody can be delivered and made free and you know to, to know that you've got these programs, and a lot of programs are either free or low cost. Yes. I, I think that it's essential that people take advantage of what's out there mm-hmm. in order for them to jumpstart their vision. I mean, I'm one of the rare cases. I didn't um, go through to a four-year college. I mm-hmm. went to a, a, a two-year college, and I graduated from that. Wonderful. However, I believe that I'm operating out of the Holy Spirit who's, who's putting in me what I need. Amen, because a number of people who do what you do uh, may have a master's degree. Yes. Actually, many people I've met who have a consulting firm. Uh, they uh, used to be in education. They used to be a public teacher or a community college teacher or university teacher. It's very interesting, and, and you don't have that background. No, I don't. <laughs> I do a lot of reading, so. There you go. Well read. Listen, people, you got to read. <laughs> You have to read. I, I'm, I'm constantly updating and honing my skills mm-hmm. to make sure I have the cutting edge. There you go. Continue to get that mind working. And then you said connecting with the people who are like-minded as you, who may be doing what you like to do or have similar ideas. And uh, with that said, some people just don't believe strong enough. And we're going to play a little bit of this song by Kathy Taylor uh sister knight and it is i believe how about that that is wonderful listen and be blessed
needs their faith increased on today. Sister Carol, what do you think about that? Oh, yes. I, I believe that um, in order for you to believe, you really do need to believe in yourself. But God put his spirit in you mm-hmm. through him. That There's power in that word. Amen. Sometimes you have to write it down and carry it with you. There you go. Believe and just keep saying it out your mouth since we're speaking being. In the Old Testament, you know what the word says. You got to write it down and make it plain. Yes. <laughs> and I love you did put a lovely verse on your, your website in, in Proverbs, the third chapter, that in all thy ways we need to acknowledge him, God, and he will direct the, your path. Amen? Yes, it's the only way. That's the only way. Now, uh, Carol, before we end it out today, we've got about five minutes left in the program. Uh, a word to nonprofit agencies out there. Uh, um, excuse me? A word about the nonprofit agencies and what they're not uh, getting. Oh, um, well, mm-hmm. IRS has sent out letters a few months ago about some um, delinquent nonprofit organizations that are um, whose um, status is about to be revoked by October 15th. Um, if you haven't been following over the past few um, years, mm-hmm. um, these things are mandatory, and it's imperative that you get in touch with IRS, or what you could do is call me, and I'll see if your organization is on the list. Some of these organizations are vital to the community, and, you know, it's just a matter of following that you can be in good standing. So that's hey. one thing that's very important that the word gets out. If you don't have a nonprofit, ask somebody, you know, is yours in good standing? Mm-hmm. Now, if not, call Carol Knight it's not at Knight Consulting. Amen. All right. And, uh, Sister Carol, I tell you, how, now, do you evangelize? You preach? Are you called to preach? I, uh, you know what? Um, I've been, just recently I was <laughs> prophesied to about that. And um, it, the funniest thing, you know, that's how God works. I've been asked to uh, speak at a, a women's conference. <laughs> and mm. that was only two weeks after I was told. So, Wow. I think I am. <laughs> Amen. To God be the glory. Yes, and I know. And please give everybody uh, the name of your church and your pastors. Well, I go to Covenant Love Family Church on Dunn Road in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Mm-hmm. Pastor Al Bryce is my pastor. Mm-hmm. And um, it, I love uh, the way they um, go and in, in, into the community and they, um, they connect with the people. Mm-hmm. And I think that that's you know, a good example of what we need to do. We need to connect. You know, if, there it is. If you're struggling with, you know, unbelief, you know what? Maybe there's a way that you could connect to somebody that can help push you along and pray with you. That's all right. You know, and feed you with the word. Yes, ma'am. You know? That is so awesome. I believe that. So true. And Eric, that word again, connect, connect, connect. We got to connect with God first. We got to connect with the Holy Spirit. Amen. (laughs) And the Lord gives us people and somebody's waiting to connect with us. We're holding a blessing for somebody by holding back the business that we could start, the consulting firm, the the after school program, uh, the feeding program. My goodness, the ministry for uh, the inmates and and ex or former offenders and and on and on and on for the people in nursing homes. We're holding back somebody's blessing. Because we're afraid to step out. And i got to minister to myself right now, too. I'm talking about that, sister. (laughs) Amen. But there's that connection, connecting with God. Because still somebody's listening who wants to do all this stuff, but they're not connected with God first. Yes. Through his son, Jesus Christ. Yeah. And, Sister Carol, give everybody, once again, your phone number and website. Okay. My phone number is area code 910-978-2000. 
888-789-7849, and my website is www.nightconsultant-dreamhigh.com. Dream high, and I love it. And once again, this is uh, Carol Knight, my guest on Town Talk, the radio edition. I'm your host, Rose Highland Sharp, on this beautiful Sunday as uh, we're recording it. Actually, the day before God is so good, and we're excited. Remember, you can give me a call at 910-295-0013 if you have questions or comments or you would like to be a guest on the store. You have a testimony. You went through something God took you through, and you're, you're living beautifully now, or you have a service to offer the community. And, of course, Knight Consulting reminds everyone, everyone has a dream. Our new initiative, of course, Dream High, encourages clients to pursue their dreams by using biblical and practical techniques to help overcome some of the hindrances that life brings. We also conduct workshops on various topics that will help individuals and organizations jumpstart the vision for their business. Carol Knight, Thank you for being my guest today. Oh, thank you. Amen. You just be blessed of the Lord. And we're going to talk some more. And we're going to close out today, my dear, with Brittany Wright and I Win. You think that's a good choice? Oh, wonderful choice. Amen. All winners. Hallelujah. Take care, my dear. We'll see you soon. Hold on. I'm going to talk to you uh, off the air, okay? All right. Honey, remember, if you are walking a walk, you'll be on Town Talk. My share of tears and times when I wanted to give it, it seemed like the day would never come. But I had to encourage me and find the strength to believe. Confidence in God. See?